So the goal of my PhD was to try to understand how um, large-scale migrating fish are using the Wadden Sea because they come here in the, the summer, but we don't really know what they're doing and what is the size of space they're using when they're here. So these are some of the fike nets that the NEOS uses to monitor fish populations, uh, but this also gave us a really good opportunity to catch fish. Because they're placed here in the Mars Deep, which is one of the main channels entering the Wadden Sea, this is a good place to catch migratory fish that are coming in or leaving on their seasonal migrations. And when they caught uh, big sea bass or mullets, then I could come here and I would have fish to tag. So some other ways we also caught fish was going out with commercial gill netters operating out of Den Uver. In order to track a fish, we actually insert an electronic tag inside their body cavity using a small surgery. And once the fish is recovered, we release them where they're able to swim past uh, these acoustic receivers that we attach to navigational buoys throughout the Wadden Sea. And that tells us when a fish has passed by and allows us to track their movements. We had the thick-lipped gray mullet and thin-lipped gray mullet, and we saw them leaving and going down the, the Dutch coastline towards Belgian waters, where we saw them throughout the winter. And then in the summer, they come back up to the northeast towards the Wadden Sea. And for our other species, sea bass, we actually saw them go much further. So they traveled all the way to the south coast of the UK and back. For sea bass, we also see that as a population, they're using the whole Wadden Sea. But if you look underneath the surface, individual fish seem to have a, a pretty small core area that they're using, and they return to that same place year after year. So they're very site faithful. And that might say something about how their prey are distributed throughout the Wadden Sea. So these data can be really useful for trying to manage the Wadden Sea, in particular for fish, because it gives us an idea of how much space these fish are using. So whether we can protect a small area or whether we really need to cover the whole Wadden Sea. Um, and it also tells us about when those protections should be in place. So we now know the timing of fish arrival, how long they stay in the summer, and whether there are certain places that they would come back to year after year. So that's something that we need to know if we want to effectively manage that species. Mm -hmm.